students. Now, let's discuss about asking for clarification. Okay, I have a question to all of you. When you did not understand about what is asked by someone, so you will ask for clarification. Okay, so this material will also be taught by you in the classroom now let's discuss about this material okay now there are three parts or subtopics in this material the first is definition of asking for clarification and then second is formal and informal asking for clarification and then the third is we are going to practice dialogue about formal and informal asking for clarification okay now let's see the next slide what is asking for clarification okay now you can see from the slide that asking for clarification means making things clear for example when someone give you an instruction and you did the wrong instruction you ask for clarification so you will make things clear and then, uh, when we clarify about something, we should have a good manner. Kalau dalam bahasa Indonesia itu kita butuh sopan santun ketika kita ingin mengklarifikasi. So, what are expressions which can be used by us in clarifying something? Okay, next, we continue. Pardon me, sir. Did you call me? Okay, for example, when someone call you but your position uh, is not there or you just rather listen to him so you can use the expressions like pardon me did you call me sir okay and then sorry could you say that again sir or excuse me what did you say would you mind saying that again and excuse me but I didn't catch the last part or the part about. So asking for clarification is very important to be taught to your students because when they don't understand about the material, especially English material, they can ask for clarification to the teacher or to their friends. Okay, students, I think that's enough for today and see you next time. Bye-bye.